Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to this new tutorial. So now we're going to be learning how can we insert data using Ajax in WordPress. So we're going to be using a real example as I'm have, um, having over here a rating system that allows us to rate our courses. So over here you can see that rating system uh, plane. Also, I would like to console log so that I can show you what's going on on the console. So over here, if we click, you can see that uh, we're displaying over here rating is 2. So if we click again, your rating is 4 duration is five so in this tutorial i would like to take this variable over here that displayed in the javascript and we're going to be storing it into the database so i would like to show you that script first over here so basically this uh this command over here is uh echoing or console log you can see over here region is and over here we have the parse end so basically this function converts a string into a number we have rating over here and we have the plus one. So the plus one because we're starting over here from the zero. The data index is zero. So if we set it over here to just rating. So let me show you. So if we click, if we click over here, it's going to be uh, rating is three. So zero, one, two, three, four, three over here. So that's why I'm adding that one to make the balance. All right. So now let's start. I would like to start by creating a... Uh, so by taking this variable over here and storing it into the database. So for that, we're going to be using the Ajax. So I'd like to uh, create a function over here. So also you, mu you must make sure that you are using the jQuery CDN. So you can simply search for it, jQuery CDN, and copy that link and use it as well. You can copy it from here and compress it. Copy it from here and paste it in your uh, page in your file. Okay, so let's use the Ajax function. So what I would like to do is basically once you click on this region over here, I would like to make a request to the server to store in this value. And after that, we're going to be saving it into the database. Okay, so let's first start with the jQuery function. So jQuery document, document point ready. And let me include the function inside the parentheses. So function. And inside this one, I'm going to be putting the dollar sign. And in between these, I'm going to be adding these uh, things like this. Okay, so the first thing to do inside the jQuery function is to declare the, the Ajax function. So dollar sign point Ajax. And let's open the parentheses like this. Another one. Okay, and go down. The, so the first thing is going to be the URL. So basically, we need to identify the file that's going to be held in, handling our request. And in WordPress, it's called the Ajax uh, admin admin dash ajax so let's uh, create the path for it so it's gonna be wp admin like this and admin dash ajax point php so this is the first parameter which is the url the second one is gonna be the data that we're gonna be uh, saving into the server so the data i'm gonna be putting two points over here and open the parentheses and go down so the first one is gonna be the action so i'm gonna be putting the action the action is the second part of the hook you, you will understand uh, this dynamic hook later on. So for now, let's just create something. Let's create a rating system. Rating uh, dash, where is it dash? System, like this. And let's put a comma over here and let's go down. So the second one is gonna be the, the variable or the, yeah, this variable over here, the rating, our rating. So let's create, let's call it rating. And I'd like to make it uh, distinguish it from the rest. So let's add something like rating dash Ajax. Yeah, just to make it different. Okay, so after that, because we're going to be uh, requesting this value over here from the server. So over here, let's put, I'm going to be putting our rating over here. Also, I'd like to do something. I'm going to be uh, making uh, another rating over here. So let's call it rate equal to rating plus one. We need the final results, not uh, the rating minus one. So over here, let's just put rating. Okay, rate, not rating. Okay, and also over here, we can add a success function. So this is just uh, not necessary. So basically, this success function is going to be run once our request has been sent without any problems. So let's go over here, data, and over here, let's open the branches and let's console log, for example, uh, success. Console log success. Oops, I forget over here the n function. There we go. Also over here we must we must close these tags like this. This is a must because we are on the jQuery. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna be going into my index uh, file. So basically the index is where you initialize your plugin. You can see the plugin name over here, description, version, and so on. So down over here, I'm gonna be starting by creating a function. So function, let's call it our, our rating, like this. Let's open that parenthesis. And down over here, we're gonna be uh, uh, adding the action. So add action. So this is our hook, it's gonna be a dynamic hook. So first it's gonna be uh, WP Ajax dash, dash we're gonna be using the, the, the action value. Let me show you this one over here, the rating system. So copy this one and let's paste it over here. So this is the dynamic hook. The first part is the WP Ajax and the second part is the, the action, which is the rating system. And in the second part, I'm sure is easy. We're gonna be using the name of our function, just like this. It's gonna, it has to be inside those uh, tags. All right, so inside the function, first thing to do is to check if there is a request to the server. So we need to do something like this, if request, if there is a request. So if uh, eset, eset, open that and let's check request, request like this. So if there is a request, do the following. So first I would like to assign uh, the request. Uh, we need to assign it to a variable. So let's call it, for example, uh, rating this one is our variable and let's assign it uh wait we need to make the request oops where is the dash dash there we go request and inside these we, we need to put the name of our request so back over here we need to put this one rating dash ajax so this is going to give us the rate which is the the variable that we want to store to the database so like this okay let's close that same thing over here, we must close these because we are on the on the PHP. So that one over here, let's do a test. I'm gonna be echoing our rating. But before that, let's try something. Echo something like hello. Something like this, just to see if there is a response from our server. So from here, let's do a refresh and let's see. So rate it like this. Oops, we have a problem. We have jQuery is not defined. Yeah, let's go back and let me see what's going on over here. So the reason why we're having this jQuery is not the fun is because we, we need to write it right. So over here we need a uh, jQuery. So the jQuery must be capital, not small letter. It has to be bigger letter like this, so jQuery. Okay, so let's save and let's uh, refresh. And let's try uh, five rating. Okay, so your rating is five and we have the success message meaning that our request has been sent uh, correctly. You can see over here, success. All right, so now let's uh, go back over here and see. So we're again, hello. So hello, it must be on the network. So network, over here you can see the admin dash Ajax request. And let's go to the request, respond or response. Yeah, response. There we go. So now we have the hello. But you can see that you can notice that we have a zero. So the mean of this zero is because we didn't kill our function. So for security reasons, we must always uh, kill any function that uh, requests uh, stuff from the server. So over here in the end, let's include die. All right, and now let's try again. Gonna start with four, for rating like this. So hello with no zero at the end, excellent. Okay, so now we have our, uh, we have our request, so let's try to include or to echo. Instead of echoing hello, let's include our rating. So let's, for example, over here, let's, uh, this is your rating, two points, and over here I'm gonna be dot, and let's put our rating, like this, variable. So refresh, start with two rating, and there we go, this is your rating, two, excellent. So now I'm gonna be showing you how we can insert this data into the database. Over here I'm having a table for ratings, LMS ratings. So we're gonna be inserting this data over here. All right, so down below over here, I'm gonna start with the WP, WPDB, WP, global WPDB, global. Down over here, let's uh, put the insert function. So WPDB, insert, insert, like this and let's close it at the end and inside it. So the first parameter is gonna be the name of our table. So again, WPDB, WPDB prefix. So this prefix allows us to uh, 
So there is no need to worry about the name if you add this prefix. Let me show you. This WebP, sometimes it's not WebP. It could be something else. So when you include the WebP, it's going to be take care, taken care of automatically. So prefix point and let's put over here LMS ratings. LMS dash ratings like this. And let's put comma. Let's go down. And from here, we need to create an array. An array that contains all the values that we want to insert into the database. Let's just do a test. So over here, uh, let's include in our ID. So ID is going to be equal to 79. Let's try this. All right. So from here, let's uh, try again. Refresh and click. Click over here. Your rating is 4. Excellent. So let's check over here. We have a success message. So I clicked on this one twice. This is why we're having this message. So over here, let's check our database. We must be able to see it. Excellent. So now we can see our uh, ID. So let's go back over here and let's insert the other element. So over here, uh, I'm gonna, we need to delete it and set only if we want to, because our ID is the primary key. So we need to delete it or update it. In my case, I'm going to just delete it. Okay, so the ID is going to be, let's keep it just like this. And for the rating, let me check the name. Uh, rating, yes, for the rating, let's put our variable, which is rating. Okay, and over here, since we are using two uh, values, we need to add the comma. This is a must. Okay, so let's check again. So now our table is empty. Okay, so let's insert four for rating. We have a success message over here. So let's check our database. Excellent. So now we have the rating. Okay, so now I'd like to show you how we can update, keep updating your values. Or let's do it over here. Let's do update. And I'm going to be updating, uh, I'm going to be adding a comma over here. Go down, add another array. So basically we need to update the row that has this ID. So I'm going to just copy this ID over here and paste it over here. Okay, I'm going to just delete this line. Save. Let's go back over here. Do a refresh. Let's add a tree right now. We have your rating is tree. So let's click over here. Excellent. So now we have our rating is tree. Okay, so there we go. So this is how can we insert the data using the Ajax in WordPress. So as you can see, we use a real example, which is the rating. And also later on, I'm going to be creating this tutorial over here. How can we make, how can we build our rating system in WordPress? Okay, so thanks a lot for watching. And I'm going to see you in the next tutorial. Take care.